Hey everybody, I have another installment of a review and in this case another advisory. This one is the uh, YEC slash 42 Cosmo collaboration, I suppose, uh, ball slider. It's also a pivot pin slider right in the middle here, but you have to take the balls out first. Uh, this one's stainless steel. It's got a laser etching on it. I guess that's the pig nose and then the, the rings there around it would be the uh, 42 Cosmo. Um, this one, I'm going to give an advisory for two things. If you watched uh, two videos back, I believe I, I did this one, and this one I think is called the, what's it called? The grass? Grass? Well, I'll find out here in a second. But uh, this one had the same similar problems that I'm going to talk about on this one. Um, weak magnets, and it came with uh, really, really substandard balls. Um, and, and that's a shame because this, this was about 35 and this was about 110, but I was almost certain, uh, at least this has a pivot pin in the middle. I do like it, but it doesn't, it doesn't function all the way that I think it should. I'm going to try to explain that to you and compare it with a couple other familiar, similar functioning sliders. So <clears throat> it is, uh, not bad. The balls that it came with it are in it right now, but you know, I don't understand. This was obviously some low-end version because they were able to sell it for $35. And like I said, it came with balls that were actually, I think, ordinary plastic. They looked like they were getting dirty and they'd bind up in there. You could feel them sort of smear and, and rub rather than roll. And uh, I'll be damned if I didn't get the same kind of balls in this. And this one was significantly more expensive. It should have had ceramic balls. Um, at the very least, I think. Teflon, I don't know. Maybe for that price, you should have had an option of three or four different kind of ball materials. But instead, they gave you four of the cheapest, shittiest balls they could find. Um, so I'll stop talking about that. But So as a ball slider, <clears throat> you get two clicks either direction. And with the balls that are in it, it operates fairly well. But let's just try changing those out. And I believe I have to... Yeah, here we go. There's two. There's the other two. I'll put those off to the side. Now here, you just see another thing. So it comes with this key, and you need this key to be able to remove the pin. That's the key feature of this. The main reason I wanted to buy it is the pin is removable, so it becomes a free-floating slider like this one, which we'll compare again. But here you have a special tool, and it's flimsy, and I, let's see if we can get in focus here. I've already, if you try to tighten it down, the pin just keeps coming loose. It's going to need a little drop of Loctite on there, um, which I hate to do, but you, no matter how tight you make it, it's going to vibrate loose. So you want to carry this key around with you, because it's kind of hard to tighten down without it. And uh, I just happen to have it attached to this, because I've been taking this thing to work with me. But uh, I did another review on this. It's worth checking out. These uh, titanium containers that I found, pill, pill fobs that I found on uh, AliExpress, along with these interesting, really interesting titanium clips. But we're getting off the topic here. So I have, I store the balls in there. And uh, when I don't want to have them in the device. So it's easy to put the balls in without taking it all apart. I think. You know what? I'm doing it upside down. spoke too soon. So we'll do that side and then we'll do this side. These are ceramic. Now the crisp, now you got nice crisp clicks. Um, now with this slider these cheap balls were actually a problem. I mean I, I really think you needed to have, have them replaced if you're gonna buy this because the way they bind up in there and the way they don't work properly forces this thing to jump off the track. Um, this one, as long as the pin's in, and if, if the pin's in, you're, I mean, if you're going to have the balls in it, you would also have the pin in, I would imagine. Um, since the pin is there, it prevents the top and bottom pieces from completely coming apart, like this one does. Um, let me put that back together again here. 
Yeah, so this one can fly apart if you get too wild with it, but this one has a pin and it's not going to fly apart. So, um, having these cheaper balls in there didn't make too much of a difference. It did not want to jump out of the track, but it did give it a muffled, a real muffled feel. Now that I have the ceramic ones in there, I think you can, you can feel what's going on there through the microphone. So, um, let's do the next thing and, uh, take it apart for a little bit of a look. Let's put these balls here. <clears throat> now, I guess we'll just take the balls out like we did before, so I don't lose them. Put those away. Okay, now it will operate as a pivot pin slider. And it does it really well. Okay, so... Um, it does work well as a ball slider. It does work well as a pivot pin slider. But, uh, like I said, again, it came with bad balls. In this case, it doesn't have that big of an effect. So you could get away with just keeping those. Um, but when we take the pin out and then we do the free-floating slider demonstration, you'll see how weak these magnets are, which is just a shame. Because uh, if you watch my channel, you know that's one of the things I really like about it. Um, about these things. So, uh, to take this apart, you simply get it in the middle, and there's a key and a keyway set up, just like on a lot of the other things we've been talking about lately. You see there's a little bit of a hole there for this nail head to fit down through. It's not a nail head, but that's a pin. And it's a pin in the shape of a nail head. So, the pin's removable, and... In the light of reflected light, you can see the two grooves that are in there. And that's why this key is shaped so strangely. It kind of looks like a skull, doesn't it? So the key actually goes, it lets you pass through the pin and land on those little grooves. And then you can take it out. So now that it's out, this is worth talking about too. Let's just do that real quick. They made a valiant attempt, uh, or a good design on the pin, I think. It's uh, it's got this little. It's two parts. So it has when it's when it's installed. Of course, this back surface right here. This is probably a lot of focus there. This back surface here would be pressed flat, um, and that keeps the nail head pointed out. But when it's free out here, we can see if I push forward on it. There's a, a little rubber O-ring in there. And what that does is, when this is all put together and this side is, is held down, um, that'll help absorb some of the impact that this pin gets with the back and forth cracking. So now that we've taken out the pin, we can try to do the free-floating slider thing. Um, just like this one, if, if you're just going to use it and not do tricks with it, one, two, three three-click slider and you know when it gets out here it's, it starts to get a little bit weak and that's what makes doing tricks with it really hard and I think that these should be at least strong enough to ladder and this one because of the weight and because of the weakness of the magnets it's really hard to ladder with I mean much much more so than this and we'll do this one now comparison. Whoops, there's still a ball in there. No, there's not. One of the freaking magnets came out. Right there, that one. Okay, we'll just try it like this. We'll do it backwards. But you see, is that the bad side? Let's do the good side. See how weak that connection is? Compare that to this one. This one's a little bit stiffer, but not much. So that's it. You know, it makes it it makes it difficult to do a nice ladder. Now, in comparison, let's try this one. This was my first favorite uh, pivot pin slider, and I've gone ahead. Now, this one does the same sort of thing as this one does. It's uh, 
It's a ball slider. You can take the balls out and it becomes a pin, a pivot pin slider with the pin in the middle. So it goes something like up here to the middle and then you can spin it around and bring it back down. And then you can also remove the pin entirely and use it as a free floating slider. That's the configuration we have right now. So this one is also a little bit um, delicate, but far less, far less than either one of these guys. So I've recommended this one. <clears throat> what are these called? Um, I have to think about that for a minute, but that'll come back to me. Um, anyhow, uh, the nice thing is this one does work a little bit better and you can ladder with it. It's still, the magnets on this one could be stronger too, but that's good enough for me. This one's good enough for me. Let's try this one again. Again, we have to remember that one of the magnets is missing. Was that this one? No, that's not that one, it's this one. Or no! Christ, I'm losing my mind. It was this one. There it is. So, we'll do this one again. See, it does fall off if you're not careful. Try this one. Now that's, I think even, it's just so heavy, so heavy, and the magnets are so weak. And then finally, this one, well, there, that's, that's the weak magnet again, or the missing magnet. This one's doing terrible. Yeah, so... This has turned into a shit show. I got a little off track there, so I'm going to back up, cut that out, and come back in here. What I wanted to do was finish off by comparing how these three ladder. Um, so uh, let's start out with the one that we're reviewing. So, if you're careful, you can get her going, but, again, yep, you know, just a little weak. So, this one has a missing magnet. Let's remember that. It's right there. So, I'll try it this way. This one's, this one's a little difficult. This has the weakest magnets, I think. Now, let's put the two good sides together. Again, there's the missing magnet, so let's put these two sides together and just do sort of a shake test. This one's really bad for that, and that just sort of gives you an indication of the magnet strength. It could be twice that, I think, and still be usable and uh, much better. This one is the Chen Yu and I don't think it has a name other than Chen Yu. I have the Chen Yu, uh, this, and the Chen Yu, oh, it's the Battle Shield, I'm sorry. This is the Chen Yu Battle Shield, and then I have the Chen Yu Spinner, and I'm not quite sure if it has a name right off the top of my head. But this one, by far, it's loose, it's a little loose too, but out of the three, it has the best laddering ability. So I think that's about it. What we'll finish off with are just the usual measurements. And it's 45 millimeters, 25 millimeters, 12 millimeters. And it weighs 88 grams. So that's it. To sum it up, um, it comes with band balls, but that's not too big of an issue. Um, the pin is a rather unique pin, and it's probably going to need to be have a little that dab of Loctite put on there. Now that won't mean that it's permanently locked in. I'll use, uh, in fact, I'll use Loctite Purple 222 
which is really temporary. Blue, even blue, uh, most of you guys use that blue Loctite 242 for your spinners, and I, I've, I've experimented with that, but it's it's too strong for me. But um, that'll tighten up those threads enough that it won't fall out on its own anymore. But you'll still need this darn key with you if you want to be out there in the field and changing things out. And it's a shame that it doesn't... Uh, Tightened down enough on its own. They could have they could have put an O-ring in the base that it squishes up against, perhaps. Um, there's a couple things they could have done to uh, to make that work better, and then then they could have have provided a a key that was a, a little bit hard, more hardened material. As I've bent these back into shape with a pair of pliers more than once now. Um, so bad balls, but the bad balls don't really matter. It's an improvement, definitely, if you want to put some ceramic or stainless steel in there. They're four millimeters. And uh, yeah, the other thing would be the loose pin. Uh, and the last thing would be uh, these weak magnets put into a heavy stainless steel slider, even though it's small, pretty heavy, and it's just too heavy, a little too heavy for those, for the weight. And I'll leave it at that. Let me know if you have any questions, and I will get back to you in the comments as soon as I can. Thanks for watching. Bye.